Chris Lamont. I'm the founder of the Phoenix Film Festival. I've been teaching as a professor at ASU for the last 15 years in film and media production. Well, the Phoenix Film Festival was designed to do two things. One, to be able to inspire and promote filmmaking uh, within, the, within Arizona. So not only just professional filmmakers, but amateur filmmakers and especially student filmmakers. And the other thing is to make an awareness to the audiences, for people to understand that movies aren't just Avengers Infinity War, but it's also about um, art, you know, and telling stories and character-based stuff. And, uh, going to short films, like no one never sees short films, uh, but those are kind of things that you see at the film festival. And so there's a tremendous educational outreach as well that the festival does to just get the word out about, you know, how great independent film and filmmaking is. So it really is kind of that two prong uh, opportunity for people to be able to learn about film and also be inspired and make movies as well. Uh, the Phoenix Film Foundation is the nonprofit organization and they provide several services. A uh, number of events, the Phoenix Film Festival, which is an annual event, 10 days long in the spring. About 25,000 attendees come out. Uh, there's also the International Horror and Sci-Fi Film Festival. And that has about five to 7,000 people who come out. That's also held in the spring in concurrence with the Phoenix Film Festival. There's also IFP Phoenix, which is a filmmaking networking opportunity and educational opportunity where you can go to classes you can do lectures and also network and meet you know, with industry professionals and hopefully start some collaborations. Uh, there's also the Arizona Student Film Festival, which is held during the Phoenix Film Festival, but students in grade school, middle school, high school, uh, and all have an opportunity to submit films they've made in school. And uh, there are prizes awarded to the winners of, of that as well to encourage students to be making movies. Um, we do have some products you can buy, you know, get cool swag, you know, at the film festival shirts and hats and that kind of thing. But it's really more about creating this opportunity, creating this environment where you can learn about film, you can make film, you can appreciate film. Our target mar market is pretty much everybody. If you like movies, you're our target audience. If you like to make movies, you're our target audience. Uh, you know, we have our doors open. We provide so many uh, educational opportunities. For kids, we do summer camps where they can come and learn how to make movies from industry professionals. So, that, I mean, there's all these great kind of opportunities and it really doesn't matter if you like movies or want to make movies. That's pretty much the people that we're looking for to come and enjoy and be a part of what our organization is. The Phoenix Film Festival is pretty successful. It's the largest film-based nonprofit in Arizona. It's also the largest attended film festival in Arizona as well. So um, we've got a number of different activities, you know, and educational opportunities. Uh, we do the Phoenix Film Society, which has about 500 members who are seeing brand new movies, sneak previews every month. So we always have a lot of dynamic things going on. So, you know, it kind of depends. It's a nonprofit, so it's not like it's making a lot of money. <laughs> but in terms of participation and offerings and opportunities, we think it's pretty darn successful. Phoenix Film Foundation became a nonprofit in the year 2000. Uh, and then the Phoenix Film Festival, the first film festival, was later on is in, was in uh, spring of 2000. So uh, going on 19 years. You know, it's funny, I actually started my first film festival when I was in fifth grade. We had a, um, we were, I was, I'm still a filmmaker, um, I'm screenwriting right now, I have an agent in Hollywood and I've been doing all kinds of film projects there that all are hopefully coming out really soon. Uh, nothing that you guys would know about or anything like that. Um, but I've always wanted to make movies, I always have been making movies since I was in fourth grade and I realized um, yeah, I can make these great little movies, but who's going to see them? So I actually had a neighborhood film festival and like, you know, showed a bunch of films, got some movies from the library, short films and stuff. And uh, we had like six kids show up in, that, in, in my garage, which was pretty awesome. Um, and then, um, but I've been making movies ever since. And then, you know, growing up here in Phoenix, and then I went to LA, worked on some movies, came back. And I was just inspired by the fact that there were no there are filmmakers out here like myself, but there was no real film festival. And so that kind of, you know, got me excited about the opportunity and said, I basically was like, how come there isn't a film festival here in Phoenix? And why don't we uh, start one? So me and my producing partner, we started the film festival. And that, that was, it was kind of a whim, kind of a gosh, we need it here in this, in the valley. And then it became just, you know, so important to the culture and art of, of Phoenix and now Arizona uh, that we've continued to do it. We have a board of directors and it's all, it's all really great, 
great opportunity for everyone to really spread the word about art and culture and film here in Arizona. What inspired me to start this business? Uh, two things, one, I've always loved filmmaking, and as a filmmaker, you always need deadlines. And as a filmmaker, you always need audiences. You can't just make movies for yourself, you have to make it so that people will come and actually watch your movies. So that's why a, a film festival has always been really appealing. And you know, for me as a filmmaker, having a festival that I can aim for, that I can do my work for to hopefully get seen by audiences has always been great. And then really, you know, this, all good businesses start because there is a gap in the world that needs to be filled. And for us, that gap as filmmakers was there's no film festival here in Phoenix. And it was one of those, we were working really late night, editing a movie, and we're like, what are we going to do with this movie after it's done? And it's like, well, I, gosh, I wish there was a film festival here in Phoenix that you know, we could show our movie in. And we're like, we kind of looked at each other, and I'm like, why don't we just start it? And so we went to the, the city of Phoenix, and we said, hey, can we use the name Phoenix in this Phoenix Film Festival? And the city of Phoenix was so excited by the opportunity, they actually gave us an office in City Hall to start the festival. So the city's always been a big fan of everything that we've done, uh, and we just have continued from there. But really, it's like, if you see something that's missing in the world, you have to be proactive. You have to start things. And they could be successful monetarily. They could be successful creatively. Uh, there's always opportunities out there. You just have to open up your, your mind and be observant and see what's something that's missing in the world, and you try and fill it. And that kind of entrepreneurship, you know, that's really what makes people successful and brings success and brings our world a lot more exciting uh, when you've got these opportunities that you see and then you grab hold of. There, I think entrepreneurs have great ideas. It's really easy to have an idea to do something. You know, it's like, oh, this would be really cool if we did this, you know, but there's the step of actually going out and doing it which is always the scary part, because everyone hates to lose or hates to fail. And so like, I think that stops a lot of people from wanting to give things a try. And I'm one of these people who's always been like, it's better to give something a try and do the best you can. And if you fail and if it doesn't work, at least you tried. You know, I mean, there's something to be said for that, for being proactive, to be a self-starter. You know, sometimes you don't need people to give you blessings. Sometimes you just do it on your own. And sometimes it's going to work and sometimes it isn't. But the entrepreneurial spirit is you go for it. You don't just talk about it. You go for it and you try and do what you want to do at the best of your ability. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but at least you tried. And that there is success in my belief in the trying. I think the biggest thing that any entrepreneur should know is that a lot of people are going to say no. And you have to get past the people who say no and push through your vision to make it happen. There's a lot of people who will you know, try and bring you down, try to say your idea is dumb, you know, and basically it's like there are no real dumb ideas. Are they realistic ideas that you can bring to fruition? But you always have to say, you know, sort of cast aside those naysayers and be all right, I'm gonna do this thing. I've got this dream, I'm gonna go for this dream. And if someone tries to get in your way, it's just like, I don't have time for that because I need to keep moving forward. Always moving forward motion, AM, FM. It's one of the things I've heard. That you always keep on moving. You don't let anything hold you back. And you know, at the end of the day, it's like, I did my best. I got this thing going. Was it successful? I don't know if it's as successful as I want it to be, but you know, if I keep working harder, I'm gonna make it as successful as I can be and maybe even bigger than I originally anticipated. Next, uh, I think, you know, the Phoenix Film Foundation is always growing. It's always getting bigger. It's always trying to come up with more ideas uh, to, to serve the community, to create a, an artistic culture here. A lot of people think that movies are you know, just like, you know, let's go to the movies, but there is so much more. And once you start learning about how much hard work it is, you know, I think people just sort of take movies for granted. Like they go into a room and there's a screen and like these images play and you're like, oh, and it's magic. 
But when you start understanding how hard it is, suddenly now you have a great appreciation for the creativity and art that's behind it. So the film festival is always going to keep growing. The event's always going to get bigger. The better movies we're going to get, the, we're going to groom more filmmakers. You know, we keep reaching out to more and more places uh, to just raise awareness and show people that if you have a dream to make movies, this is a place that will foster that. You have a, if you just like going to the movies, you know, it's a place where you can do that and you can experience not just the big blockbusters, but also you know, like the smaller films, the commercial, not commercially, just more like character-based little movies that are so important because everyone want, has a story to tell. Uh, everyone has an individual voice that needs to be heard. And it's just a question of creating the right vehicle to be able to do that.